Hi everyone, I'm Sean from Origins Air here in Taiwan and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the Laser Egg 2. Okay, so what exactly is the Laser Egg? Well, the Laser Egg is an air quality monitor. We're all living in uh, working here in Taiwan and it's not exactly a secret that the air quality is not particularly great. However, one thing I think that a lot of people don't realize is that whilst the air is really bad outside, a lot of people don't understand that the same air that's outside is also inside your home, your school, your office or wherever your indoor space happens to be. What it boils down to is if you don't have some kind of air purification system in your indoor space, whether it's an air purifier or an air conditioner that specifically filters very, very fine particulate matter in the air, then the air quality inside is just as bad as outside. This laser egg, uh, its purpose is to A, tell you how good the air quality is in your home, and also B, if you do have an air purifier or some kind of purification system, it will let you know how well it's actually working. So, what I'd like to do today is just give a little bit of introduction into what you get if you were to purchase one of these. Let's have a look. First of all, you get all of these little goodies inside of this cute little cube-shaped box. So once you've opened the box, these are the things that you're going to see inside of it. Of course, there's the laser egg itself, an instruction manual. Now, the instruction manual is in English and in Chinese as well. And you also get a charging cable. One thing I often get asked is, maybe people see like these air quality indexes and the numbers and people are like, well, what does it all mean? We've, uh, we've designed a little card here, which is dual sided. So it's in English and in Chinese. And it gives you the air quality index, which is in accordance with the US international standard. And this US international standard is also what Taiwan currently follows. And the numbers next to it is also, because this is a, um, this is a PM 2.5 monitor, this, you can actually look and see what the PM 2.5 concentration is, and this card will also show you where that number lies on the PM 2.5 range. So then, once you've got a bit of an understanding of this, then we've got some advice and suggestions over here about what to do, whether it's turning on your air purifier, uh, turning up the speed setting, or maybe putting on a mask if you're going outside. Now, what I'd like to do is just give you a quick introduction to what the functions are and what this laser egg actually does. So, first of all, let's just take the unit. Um, <clears throat> on the back of the unit here, you will see there is a USB charging port, and then there's a little bit here that looks like a, it looks like a speaker actually. Now, inside of that, there is a small fan, and the fan will draw air through the machine and then it comes out through the, the gaps. So basically there's constant airflow moving through the machine so you can get a really good accurate reading. Uh, for charging it, basically once it's plugged in, you just, on the back here, you just take this charging cable and you plug it in. And you'll also see that there's a little LED light just around it there, which is kind of cool. Just lets you know that it's charging. And then <clears throat> when you turn the unit on, it should have a battery uh, symbol down here. Let's turn the laser egg on for the very first time. Uh, on the top of the unit, there are two buttons. Uh, the first one here is a power button, and this one here is the function button. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on the unit. Just hold it down for a couple of seconds there, and it powers up. Then the first time you use it, it will give you this screen, which is a little like uh, introduction in a few different languages. And what you can do is just push the function button a few times on the top, should be one, two, three, four. The first function, once you load up the unit, is the air quality index, and it's the US standard. So it says AQI US. Now, remember the card that you get with the, the machine? So this one here. So you can actually look down uh, here, and you can see like the AQI US. So at the moment, this is reading 132, and 132 puts you right into this category here, which is unhealthy for sensitive groups. Now, this laser egg also has another AQI index in it. Because the unit is made and sold a lot in China, there is the Chinese air quality index. 
Now by pressing the button again on the top, the function button, you will it will quickly change. Ah, great. So down here it says AQI CN. Now that's the Chinese air quality index. Probably looking and thinking like why is the number like half of what we just saw? And that's just generally down to the way that that air quality index is calculated in China. Um, please don't use this index if you're in Taiwan as it won't give you a, a proper representation of what's going on. So make sure you're using the previous screen which is the AQI US. You can also go into the app for this laser egg and inside of it you'll see the settings and in the settings you can actually just switch this screen off so you won't be able to see it anymore. Now go into the next function. So the next function this one is the PM 2.5 concentration. Now you'll see 42 and you're probably thinking well what does 42 mean? So if you pull out your card again you can see by looking down here 42 so 42 is in this range it's 35 35 to 55 and that's unhealthy for sensitive groups. Now the World Health Organization recommends that this number uh, as a general average shouldn't really go much above 15. So with it being 48, you know, we're already way above what the World Health Organization considers to be good quality air. The next function, if you click here, the bottom reading there, which is showing 56%, uh, that is the humidity in the room that you're in. And then above that is the, air, uh, the temperature. And then above that is uh, a total particle count. Now, what does that mean? So because this is a particle count reader, uh, there's lots of different sizes of particles. This monitor can read all the particles in the range from 0.3 to 10. So that also includes the PM2.5. There is no, uh, there's no standard of this number, like uh, on a, an air quality index, but the lower this number, the less particles that are in the air, and therefore the air is cleaner. This is also a good guide for if you have uh, an air purifier in your home. A lot of modern air purifiers now, they state that they can filter down to particle sizes of 0.3 microns. So you'll see if this number comes down really a lot, then you're gonna know that the air purifier is doing its job well. The next function, so if you download and connect up the app from the App Store or Google Play, you are going to see your local weather here. So it would show today's weather, and there's a little picture, maybe a cloud or a sun, and it'll show the next three days of weather as well. And the next function, uh, this is the LCD off screen. So you notice that the LCD just uh, dimmed there. That's gone into a power saving mode. And what this is for is, because this unit, as it's recording data, it actually uploads the data to the cloud. And you can download that data from the app. Now, if you want to keep the unit on, for example, while you're sleeping at night and you don't want to be disturbed by the bright screen, you can pop it into this function. And later, you can click and return it back to the Air Quality Index US. Okay, great. Well, that's the, uh, the laser egg for you. I hope you found that the information inside of it was useful and you've got a bit better of an understanding about what the laser egg actually does. Now, if you still have any more questions, you can visit our website at www.origins-air.tw and on there you'll find a fairly comprehensive frequently asked questions section. If you still can't find the answer to what you're looking for, then please drop us a line either through Facebook or you can, there is a, a contact us section on the website. Okay, great. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.